Okay, now that we're starting into data summarization, uh, we need to talk about some of the some of the values that we are going to want to actually summarize. Uh, some of them have to do with numerical data, some of them have to do with categorical data, uh, but here are our basic parameters and statistics. Uh, let's write it over here. Okay, so remember, our parameters are with respect to the population. So had we known every single person in the population we found the mean, that would be a parameter value. But if we took that same mean and we looked at it uh, from just the sample, that would be a statistic. And a lot of times we're using the statistics and using uh, some methodology in order, to, um, in order to approximate our parameters. All right, so let me also put one more line in here, and I'll put in a definition so we got those as well. Okay, so let's say that we are talking about the mean. All right, so our parameters are going to be Greek letters. So it helps us if we see Greek, then we are talking about a parameter. So the mean is simply going to be the Greek letter mu. So if we see mu, that is talking about the population mean, or the parameter. Okay, and the statistic, had we taken a sample and we found the mean, we would be looking at x bar. That's our sim, um, symbolism for the mean. Okay, the next one down is we are often interested in the standard deviation. Now, I won't talk about like how we calculate this out right now, but uh, suffice it to say that it is a measure of how spread out our data is. And in our Greek letters, it's going to be a sigma. Um, you'll see it oftentimes written like this. Uh, I typically will write it like this. So if you see this more triangular version, that's the standard deviation. But this is sigma, more typically written uh, like this. And in our statistics, it's just the character s. So standard deviation of the population is going to be looking like sigma, or you will often see me write it kind of like that triangular sigma, uh, and the statistics, it's the letter s. All right, next one, we've got variance. Uh, it's just another measurement of spread, and it is by definition sigma squared. And over here in our statistics, this is S squared. All right, so these are our most basic um, statistics with regard to new, just kind of simple numerical summaries. Uh, you'll also see one, it's less often that you'll see it, um, but if we are talking about the median, you'll see this as mu tilde, with a little kind of squiggle on top, and you probably can guess it's x tilde for the median. Um, that one's pretty uncommon. You probably won't see it in most introductory uh, statistics books, but it, it does pop up in literature at times. All right, the next one that we need to talk about, let's go ahead and dive into our um, definition for our categorical data. So when we're dealing with categorical data, most of the time we're talking about proportions. So we'll put in here proportion. Okay, and when we are talking about proportions here, we are going to be dealing with the Greek letter of pi. Now, you do have to remember that pi also, you know, in mathematics is dealing with, you know, circles. It's our 3.14. Uh, if that ever comes up, I will be sure that you know that if, it, if we're talking about the constant pi or if we're talking about the, the population proportion pi, but in this class, if you see pi, it's pretty safe to assume that we're talking about the population um, proportion. And in our statistics, if we're taking it from a sample, it's just the letter P. All right, moving on from there, there's a couple others that I'm going to tack on. We're not going to see these until closer to the end of class, uh, but if you see 
So this would be the slope. So if we're ever dealing with like a scatter plot, we're looking at a slope. Uh, what we are actually measuring, or the Greek letter here will be beta 1. And the statistic is going to be B1. And the last one we've got, it's called a coefficient of correlation. Coefficient of correlation. And the Greek letter is rho. And our statistic is r. OK. So when we see these things, and we're talking about parameters, we're talking about statistics, we should now know if we're talking about the parameter with respect to a mean, we're talking about mu. If we're talking about the statistic with respect to the mean, we're talking about x bar. And what's nice is we use these often to approximate uh, one another. Uh, so eventually, we'll get to the point where we will find the sample mean, and we'll try to make some conclusion about what we think that the population mean uh, actually is. So these are some of the basic definitions uh, that you'll need of our parameters and their associated statistics.